stop the fight. Step two, temporal method for safety. Step three, begin the tenderization. Step four. What? what, what? Hello, my fellow hunters, and welcome to the best arch tempered fight by a long, long way. Well, maybe not the longest of ways. Arch tempered Zeno is still fantastic. You are nothing compared to me. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the Zeno Jiva. But this is something else entirely. Let's just say that the fight is very ice. Oh, oh, nice, but ice and. <laughs> Ah, and the fight is as painful as that attempt at a joke was. Seriously, she has so many new moves, including an entirely new super move, which is ludicrous. She uh, is just a whole other level and a worthy fight to follow for Talis, and certainly worthy of the fury that was Arch Tempered Nerd Gigante to round off base world. She can do her super explosions in a sort of like multi spread line pattern. She can fire off the circular ones, super speed from the air, zooming to your position, and she does it so much more frequently. Her beam attacks have got a even more sweepy and ridiculous. I could swear that she's faster, but that might just be me. Her big icy boom explosion in front of her is now three times as wide, and it goes off in a sort of delay. She just is insane, and really everything I've said here is not even the tip of the Vulcana shaped iceberg. It really is absolutely ludicrous. I could swear even her beam itself looks more like focused or powerful or slightly brighter or even bluer, but that might just be all the ice I have in my eyes from tanking every attack back to back. Oh! The point is, this is a stern, worthy challenge, and of course, while not as difficult as Fatalis, it is above and beyond what I would have expected from an Arch Tempered, and it just kind of feels like a Super Freeze Velkana variant. They really have done that good of a job of turning her fight up to 11. And look, I don't want to just sit here and spoil all of the new stuff she does, because it will catch you off guard in the most pleasantly painful way possible. So, yeah. Jump in, have yourselves a clash against Arch Tempered Velkana, and see how you go a fairing. Because believe me, you are going to want to be downing her over and over and over, because the armor is ludicrous! So when I say ludicrous, what do I mean? I mean. As good as Fatalis armor, but for Frostcraft. Oh, he's a madman! A madman! And that is very, very, very exciting. So, let's get down to it. The two set and the four set is Critical Emerald and Frostcraft once more. And that is A-OK, -okay because wearing four pieces of this is delicious. The helmet, then! We have, oh, I don't know, two four slots and a one slot. You know, that's not bad, is it? You know, it's no Fatalis, but it's pretty good. Oh, and by the way, all three ranks of coalescence. Dear God, it's beautiful. Because why not? Let's just throw them all on there with some bonus resuscitate just for kicks. I, I, I don't need to express how good a helmet with all three of one of the best offensive skills in the game on top of that slottage is. Even without it being part of Frostcraft, this would be a serious contender for the one piece of armor that you wear that isn't Fatalis, which is in every other slot. Which I guess is now the caveat of most sets that aren't going to be Frostcraft. But talking of Frostcraft, the chest is all three ranks of critical draw, a bit of ice attack, and a 4-2 and a 1. Absolutely stellar. The arms then, all three ranks of recovery up, 
a 4 slot and a 3 slot. By far the weakest piece, but by no means a weak piece, especially as it does finish ice attack for any ice build uh, that wants to use this and the chest to get some good skills along with the slottage. Moving on then to the waste, which is all three ranks of focus and a 4 slot and a 1 slot and just a tiny little bit of quick sheaf. Again, the theme as you're seeing is all three ranks of a very good skill, good slots and then something something extra just to make your time really worthwhile. The boots, all three ranks of peak performance. The rest of quick sheaf if you count the waist and a 4 and a 2. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's uh that's what I'm saying. That is absolutely ridiculous and honestly it's ridiculous to the point where frostcraft sets might overtake Fatalis sets. See, the problem with base Velkana is that despite Frostcraft being arguably in the top three most potent skills in the game, a 30% damage boost scaling down to 10% on your attacks from draw, it's on armor that has really bad uh, skills on it with really bad slots. So it kind of self-balances just how good Frostcraft is. Now we're in a position where the armor itself is amazing and the slots are amazing while still having Frostcraft, which is amazing. That's triple amazing, ladies and gentlemen. And that is going to result in a shake-up to an already thoroughly fatalis shook up meta. Now, the bottom line is every Frostcraft based build is now ridiculously powerful to the point where it is going to be beyond viable and arguably in some cases better than Fatalis. Take Greatsword. Greatsword uniquely can play with Frostcraft without using a draw based attack strategy. Because you can get to the true charge with only three actual hits counting against Frostcraft, the true charge can hit with the 20% damage boost active, which is a huge damage boost. But of course, that still really kind of wasn't enough to account for all of the skills you're missing because of the limited Velcana armor. Whereas now, you're not limited at all. You can have everything on top of Frostcraft. So, based on some quick little set building I've done, I think it's entirely possible that the best normal true charge greatsword just becomes, well, four pieces of Velkana Gamma Frostcraft. Yeah. Not to mention, of course, anything that does revolve around crit draw is now ludicrous. So the point I'm making, and the point that is, I guess, very evident, and the point I am definitely laboring, is we have managed to get a Gamma Armor set here that competes healthily with Fatalis, so that the end game of Iceborne all the way to Rise is not just Fatalis sets, it's Fatalis sets and Gamma Velkana sets, which is double the amount of set! <laughs> So that's really quite awesome. Look out for many, many builds to come, everyone, because this is going to be fun. Let me know what you think. Like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I will see you soon. A good boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.